We have a relative who lives with his partner in Vancouver, and we were able to stay at their place in the West End, which is very close to downtown. It was a great launch pad for us to explore the city, with Stanley Park only a short ride away. The first morning we were there, I took a little walk around. This park was lovely, and although it's very small, it was also very complete. It had a dog park, a community center, public washrooms, a community garden, and multiple play structures. Let me just say that having access to the toilet is a human right. Winnipeg, where I live, has far too few public bathrooms. And then I saw this. Bad vibes. And a sign of things to come. Pretty much every street in this area had traffic calming. Speed bumps, modal filters, traffic circles, you name it. It's nice to see a city moving in the right direction. This is a retirement community that I walked by. Winnipeg has one that's very similar to this with a second story patio like that, but... Winnipeg is on a strode, and this is on a nice, quiet, residential street, even though we're right in the middle of the city. This cute little pedestrianized area was about a block from where we were staying. Doesn't it just look so inviting? I came over here and grabbed an electric bike from the bike share to take to Stanley Park. It was really easy. And it made me realize how big of an asset bike share is, even to someone who owns a bike. It encourages everyone in the city to bike, and it eliminates the barriers of buying, maintaining, and locking the bike. Now, I lost the footage of me biking over here to the waterfront, because I'm a totally unprofessional videographer, but it was a pretty short ride. I mean, wow, right? Incredible colors. I was going to just bike straight over to Stanley Park, but once I got down here, I was like, oh, I gotta bike on that. It's a beautiful place with an ugly name, Coal Harbor. Sea planes and bike lanes. This reminded me a lot of biking on the waterfront in San Francisco. From here, I decided to pop over to downtown really quick just to see what the bike infrastructure was like. It was very good, but still not the most comfortable place to bike due to the heavy traffic. I'm not okay with being cut off or drivers behaving threateningly like this, but it happens to me almost every day, so I'm used to it. And I'm not going to comment on it every time. Vancouver has a lot of great bike infrastructure, but also a lot of painted bicycle gutters and sharrows, which suck. Especially when they have parking on one side, like that one.
lot of these huge, wasteful, ostentatious boats in Vancouver. Terrible traffic here on Georgia Street, which connects to Highway 99 running through Stanley Park. I felt reasonably safe in this lane since there were no cars zooming by me, but it's definitely not ideal to have the bus right next to you and merging into your lane to pick people up. into Stanley Park now. That bike lane ran all the way here, which is pretty nice. It was very easy to bike from Cole Harbor to Stanley Park. was feeling really excited to see this legendary park at this point. This is the seawall, part of the 28 kilometer seaside greenway, which Vancouver bills as the world's longest uninterrupted waterfront path. Public bathrooms. Public seating. was so crisp and clean here. It was honestly like cycling paradise. The Lions Gate Bridge. As you'll see, this bridge has a huge amount of car traffic and is quite noisy even from this distance. This person asked me to take their picture. I actually took several people's pictures while I was out that day. Oh. <laughs> and then I asked to get onto the bridge because I was kind of lost. Peaceful. Riding a scooter here looks fun. So here I really didn't know where to go to get back to the bridge, which I was trying to take to get over to North Shore. I asked some other people, but they didn't know either. So I kind of just went back the way I came, but on a higher path. I didn't really feel like consulting my phone for directions. Sometimes it's nice to just make your way. I was really, really glad I had an electric bike here. It was still pretty tough though. The Vancouver airport is only about 13 kilometers from here, and there's also a lot of seaplanes and helicopters, which make this a little less peaceful than it could be. The cargo ships doing the bidding of capitalism, which is killing us all, are a bit of an eyesore as well. <laughs> it's already ruined the scene. I wasn't thinking these things at the time. I was just enjoying the scenery.
very nice wayfinding signs for cyclists around here. This is really important because it makes biking easier, which encourages people to do it. It's a sign that the city is thinking about cyclists. So this was really beautiful and everything, but I definitely felt kind of stressed when I was biking here. The lack of a smooth surface to bike on was definitely part of it. And again, the noise here was really intense, like definitely over 80 decibels. Even 70 decibels, which is half as loud as 80, is enough to make people feel irritable after a certain amount of exposure. It's scary to be biking on a highway with an unprotected lane. So, my introduction to North Shore is barbed wire, this very ominous share the road sign, and a giant glowing billboard. I'm merging onto this highway. Hope they share the road. Definitely feeling a bit scared here. If I did this again, I'd probably just bike on the sidewalk, honestly. No, no, please. The air was not so crisp and clean here. My plan was to come over here, drop off the bike share bike, and then take the bus over to the climbing gym I wanted to check out. But at this point I realized that there are no bike share stations over here. At least, not for Moby Bike. Probably should have checked that. Oh, I just ended up biking back over the bridge to return it at Stanley Park. Hmm. What a relief. I made it. I was out biking for an hour and a half, and I ended up biking about 20 kilometers. It cost about $46, a little extra for the e-bike, but it was definitely worth it for this trip. I was impressed with Vancouver's provision of public washrooms, and it's nice to see gender diverse people included. This is Prospect Point. I walked over here from the bike share station. From here I met up with my partner and we started walking over to the bus stop. Yup, there are trolley buses in Stanley Park. Super cool. And that's it for this video. I'll show you my trip over to the climbing gym in another one.